Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Saving the planet with Bill Gates. So he has his finger in many pies and here are just a few. Golden rice, increasing productivity in small farms in Africa, using human waste as fertilizer, using urine to make electricity, earthquakes, TB, malaria, polio, just to name a few. So he's one of a handful of people who are throwing billions and billions of dollars at helping to improve the world for everybody on the planet. So he's a truly inspirational man and he's now backing a project which will remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to make a carbon neutral fuel. As in, it won't release any more carbon dioxide than is taken up to make the fuel. The net carbon dioxide release is going to be zero. That is absolutely game-changing. And trials have just been run outside of the logging town in Canada called Squamish. Squamish. So he's in partnership with the physicist David Keith and the oil sands magnate Norman Murray Edwards. So with some massive fans and some complex chemical shenanigans, they will be removing carbon dioxide from the air and using it to make a carbon neutral synthetic petrol and diesel that can then be used for planes and ships and lorries. So it's a combination of direct air capture, water electrolysis and fuel synthesis and at a cost that is not much greater than it is to extract fossil fuels. And it could change in industries that is currently supplying a third of the total climate changing emissions. A third. This is the real version. This is the real man-made version of photosynthesis, extracting carbon dioxide from the air and changing it into a fuel. Now you may have heard of this sort of thing before because it's not new technology, but on the scale that they are intending to do it, that is absolutely unprecedented. The company is called Carbon Engineering. It was set up in 2009 and they were able to extract a ton of carbon dioxide from the air. But up until this point, that ton of carbon dioxide which was extracted is simply released back into the air just to show that it could be extracted. So they're now partnered with a company called Greyrock and they're using carbon dioxide from the air, they're using hydrogen from water that's been split using clean electricity, that is electricity that's been made from pollution free sources and it's a process called air to fuels. So this is a phenomenal achievement and one that could literally change the face of the planet. It can stop climate change from snowballing into this getaway vehicle that nobody can stop. Too many analogies in that. So it may not be the end of petrol and diesel, just petrol and diesel from these pollution ridden sources. That is Saving a Planet with Bill Gates. Thanks for tuning in. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.